Hello everyone and welcome back to another Godot Community Spotlight video. If you're new here, I hope you feel right at home as each week I try to shine a light on what people are doing with the Godot engine. I'm going to switch things up a bit this week and focus on a specific type of tutorial and today I'm looking at menu screens. Game Dev Journey. If you want to combine 2D and 3D in the Godot engine to create a more engaging and immersive menu for your game, then Reuse RP has the tutorial for you. He'll take you through setting up the scene, the font, the buttons, and the moving camera, along with everything else you need to create a menu that captures the player's attention immediately. If you're making a menu, then this is one tutorial which you need to watch. Once you have your menu up and running, you might want to start playing around with some more advanced techniques, such as making the menu interact with the player's mouse movement. This effect has been used in games such as No Man's Sky and Destiny. Jim Biv will teach you how to calculate the distance from a menu's origin to the mouse cursor and how to clamp those menu elements so that they only follow the mouse for a certain distance. If you're wondering how to scale your font up and down on your main menu as the player adjusts the window size, then GWG, Go With Godot Engine, has a lightning fast tutorial which will show you how to implement a scaling and descaling font in Godot. This might be just the issue which you're struggling with in your game, so watch the full video on GWG's channel and subscribe to support him further. Games have a lot of menus, and one of the most important ones is the options menu for changing the sound and video settings. 16-Bit Dev has a tutorial for you demonstrating how to create just such a menu with video and sound settings using control nodes and signals in Godot. If this is the feature you've been looking to implement in your game, then head over to the 16-Bit Dev's channel and watch. Also, don't forget to subscribe. Finally, if you're looking for an all-encompassing tutorial showing you how to create a main menu in Godot, then ZTO Game Dev has the tutorial for you. He'll take you through all the steps of making the menu with options to change resolutions, full screen or windowed mode, as well as volume controls. That's all for this week. Thanks for joining me, and I hope to see you all again next time. Thank you.